in. Everybody's counting. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one, three, got it, five, tight, seven, hit, one, hit, three, got it, five, seven, one, got it, three, good, five, good, seven, three, one, two, three, got it, five, six, seven, push, one, hit, three, got it, five, hit, seven, hit, one, two, three, push, seven, good. All right, that's not perfect, so let's do that one again. pyramid there's some changes there's some changes in the pyramid that I think will make it more stable and just better in general I think the last pyramid is really fast and I think there's a lot of movement in it like the flip yeah. section to the arabesques I think were always really a struggle for us mm -hmm. and then when you dip and you turn to a full heel stretch that's like the movement that you're doing you're rotating your body a quarter while pulling one leg up off the ground and the momentum and the bracer you're letting go with one hand it's just so much change that happens when you push that full heel stretch and it tends to bobble and be heavy because you're tired from basing a whole pyramid <laughs> and then you go in and have to push this full heel stretch with no assistance and it's just yeah. you hit one time on the back not one yeah not, not like perfectly once. did that heel stretch okay and in general like We've been performing this routine constantly with 15. We now have 16. My name is Miguel Vizcarra. I am currently a sophomore. I've been cheering for a year, a little bit over a year. This girl, Peyton Moody, she hurt her leg and they needed somebody in for a week and they called me and then I based my for my first time. And um, I guess I did good, that's why I stayed. <laughs> And so what that means is the routine's going to shift. It makes every one of your spots more competitive. If a stunt isn't hitting, we have to change it. We can't have bobbles on that mat. Realize that your spot, although on this team, is not jeopardized right now, your place in your stunt is constantly on the line. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven, eight. One, three, Five, hit, seven, eight, one, two, dip, fall, cut, and lift. understand what you need to do during a routine. You need to like build up the energy or it's really hard to like do anything. But it's very nerve wracking when you're going in front of all your like everyone like peers. It's, it's hard because now you're being judged by people that you know and see every day. Whereas like competition it's like you know exactly what they want to see, you know exactly what they want they want. 
Maybe they're a bunch of friends that don't know anything about cheer. They just think this is like a cool flip. The second performance was far better than the first. Yeah, but in the first rally, the music cut out during our dance. And people were confused with what was going on, and we just sang counts. show your peers what you're up to. I think they don't get to see the, the elite stuff we do outside of cycling cheer. And so that's probably more scary for you guys than doing anything at competition where you don't know anybody. Being right in front of your peers like that is a lot of pressure. to focus on what's at stake here. This is a huge competition, it's a huge deal. This is a great, this is your opportunity, this is your chance as a team. Like this is it. If there's a team that's gonna do it, it's your team. 